What is up guys, it's Mike Sir 38 and today we will be doing the second part of the tutorial for this video right here. So without much further ado, let's jump into building the second part. Now we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the tower in the build right there. That's what we're gonna be building. It is very complex to build, so I will be referencing quite frequently, so I will be flying back and forth quite a few times, but that's just that I get this tutorial right and don't mess you guys up. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, this will make it easier if you're built, uh, easiest if you're building in survival, is we're gonna find out where the post of the build actually go. So if you wanna do that, if you go up from the stair, goes up one stair, another stair, this block, and then this block right here. And, and an easy way to know that is just that you have the two blocks right here, it's one right here. So you'll go from this uh, spruce planks right here, and then we'll go one, two over with the stone bricks, and that's where you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and break your first block. This is where the post is gonna be. So I'm actually gonna break that block right there. So this is where the post is gonna stand, and then we're gonna have one, two, three blocks broken right here, and then we will have, whoops, fell through, uh, another post right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three with the post. Uh, it's gonna be, if you go from this layer right here, it's gonna go one spruce plank, two stone bricks, then it's a post right there. And then this part right here, you can actually just go ahead and destroy real quick. So let me go ahead and do that, because this build is, uh, the tower is symmetric, so it's gonna be the same on both sides of the roof, which is, you know, everyone likes symmetry. That's always a nice thing. So there is that. You can actually go ahead and break these blocks too. All right, so there's that. And now we'll go ahead and get uh, our post right here as well. So put some post here and here. So you should have a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, it's four by four wide square, except it's not gonna be completely filled with uh, these guys right here. Instead, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get some white terracotta and light gray terracotta. You'll connect the bottom part right here with white terracotta, forming the actual tower, what the tower is gonna look like, which is just basically a uh, glorified square. That's pretty much what it is, but with a bunch of texture on it, so that doesn't look necessarily like a square. So over here, from the tower, if you go over here, you can see that with this layer, it is white terracotta, but then it goes up and then turns into light gray terracotta with the post going over it like this. And the post, the total height with the post is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that is it, I believe. Yep, seven, seven high. So we'll go ahead over here and we'll build the post up seven high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you'll just get the other ones to match the same height, like that right there. Make that one more higher. And then we'll put light gray terracotta on this layer right here, going one layer up, like so. Then we'll put our post, our dark oak wood post, going across like this to start forming the tower foundation. And then we'll put, I think it's one, two, three layers of white terracotta. Then it's light gray terracotta right there. So we can do that on every single one too. Man, I keep throwing my stuff today. That's weird, I, I typically don't have that problem. Typically I just misplace all the blocks and stuff. But yeah, so it's gonna be one, two, three layers of white terracotta, then one layer of light gray terracotta. One, two, three layers of white terracotta, and then one layer of light gray terracotta. So that is the tower basically in a nutshell, but now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the roof of the tower, which this roof, I'm so proud of this roof. I typically am not the best with the roofs and this actually turned out really great. So I put a lot of time into this tutorial if you guys can tell. And that's actually supposed to be a slab, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, so for the foundation going around the top of the tower, we're actually gonna go ahead and get stone bricks and put a layer of stone bricks on top of this right here. So get your stone bricks and just make a quick square right there, four by four square, and make sure it's hollow too, because eventually inside the tutorial, um, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the interior, because I did a lot of modifications to the interior, but in the interior, you can actually see like the roof go kind of curve up. It makes it look nice. But yeah, so you want that layer of stone bricks there, and then for the part of the roof, for this part of the um, lower section right here, we're gonna put three dark oak wood stairs, one, two, three, like that, I think, let me see. See, I told you guys I'm gonna be referencing this a lot because this roof is very complex. Yeah, so we do that and then we put a slab and that's gonna be the same on every single side. So slab right there, slab right there. We'll put one slab right here and then one, two, three stairs. Then we'll put a slab here. Then we'll put a slab here as well. One, two, three with the stairs, a slab. And just keep replicating that same pattern until you've got it going all the way around like that. That's gonna be the first part of the build. The next part, we're gonna go, and this is the stone brick blocks right here, so don't get confused by all the textures and everything, but we'll go ahead and we'll actually put uh, slabs on top of the stone bricks, I think. Yep, so slab on top of there, and then these are actual blocks themselves, so one, two, three blocks. So this is what we're gonna do for the next part of the roof. We're gonna put a slab on top here, 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 and here, and then we'll fill the inners with stone brick blocks like this. So that is how that part of the build goes. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, the, the ceiling gets a little confusing. But then the interior, we're gonna go up one, two blocks with slabs on either corner. So I've got that figured out. Okay, so over here, we're gonna go 
one block in, and we'll make a three by three hollow square. I mean, you can actually fill it in if you want. The roof, I don't think, shows the very, very tippy top of the part, but it goes like that, yeah. And then we'll put another block on top like this. So there's that. And then we'll put stone brick slabs on each corner. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll put stone brick blocks between each one of those, I think. Let me go over here. Yeah, so you got the slabs right there. Then you got the actual block right there with the stairs on top. Okay, so now get your stone brick stairs out. We're gonna put a stone brick stair here in the middle of this one, here in the middle of this one, this one, and this one. And then at this part, we're also gonna put stairs going up right here. And then we will have, I think it's three blocks. Let me go ahead and double make sure though, so that you guys get all of this right. So one, two, three, yep. So we'll put two, three up, and then we'll get our walls, which I believe I only did two stone brick walls on the very tippy top to tip it all off, uh, if I can type. So stone brick walls right here. One, two, and I think I only did two, two, three. Nope, I did three, one, two, three. So that's how we do this roof part, which again, it is very, very complex roof style. It does look very nice, I, I will have to say myself, because I, I was really proud with how this turned out. But if you guys need to go ahead and rewatch that again real quick, just to make sure you got it right, go ahead and do that, because that, that is a complex roof shape, but if you get it right, it looks really nice. And real quick, what we'll do too, uh, while we're still working on the roof, is we'll fill in this interior right here, which uh, the interior is really simple. You put light gray terracotta there, there on these sides right here. You fill this part in with white terracotta, and then you fill this part right here with two light gray terracotta, just like that on either side of the roof. So you see we got that pattern right here. I'll go ahead and duplicate it again real quick, just so you can see for a second example. So we got that right there, that right there, like so. One, two, three, one, and then one white terracotta here, and then two light gray terracotta here, and that mimics the shadow on the edge of the build. The next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna uh, get all the window locations down. We'll, I'll teach you how to build the windows for the towers and for the sides, and then we'll start working on getting the decorations like the slabs and everything that you will see eventually. So that will be the next part. So now we will move on to placing windows and decorations on the build of the such. So for the windows, uh, we actually don't have any windows on this floor right here just because when I was looking at, oh, speaking of which, there's a model that I actually based this off of too. I did add a ton of stuff, but it was a model uh, created in Unity and I will put the link down to that below. I don't remember the gentleman's name who created that, but um, I did kind of base this off of that. And then I kind of went from there. I just kind of wanted to get what the medieval kind of feel of the style was like. Anyways, let's move on to the windows. So for the windows, we're gonna go ahead and we'll move two blocks over, so one, two, right there. And then we'll break a two by two hole right there. And we'll do the same on this side. We'll go one, two over and break a two by two hole here. I will show you how to put all the shingles and stuff on as soon as we get all the windows uh, plotted and placed. Over here, windows are super easy. We just put one here and it's a one by two window, one here. Then on this side, we just want to center each of the two by two windows. So two by two window with one block on either side. Right here, we'll have another two by two window with two blocks on either side. And then we'll have another two by two window with one block on either side. And then over here, we'll just duplicate the exact same side that we did over there with uh, two one by two windows like that. So that's that part. For the next part of the decoration, we'll actually go ahead and we'll do the fence, which for this part, you will need a dark, more dark oak fence right here. And this part is actually super, super simple. Uh, I'll show you how to do it real quick. We'll get our dark oak wood and we'll place a block here, here. And you pretty much just wanna place it on every single place that there is, not, not like on the bottom, you see you don't put a post right there, but you put it in the middle, like so where the bottoms meet right here. So another one right there, there, there. Then on this side, we would have one post here, here, and here, and here. Then we'd have another one in the middle. Then one here, here. And then for this part, let me see real quick what I did, because I did the post a little strange over here. Oh, and then we want the actual bottom ones right there to meet up in the middle. So we would put one post here and here. To fill in the stuff, we're gonna use dark oak wood slabs, like you can see right here. It's gonna be on the bottom part, connecting each of these uh, dark oak wood posts sticking out. We'll actually put it on this one too. So I'll go ahead and round, uh, round quick, real quick. Ooh, can't talk, and put those over there. So we do have those one block below right here. So it's not exactly at the line where the line meets. So it'll be right there, there, and there. And then we'll put a post here. Let me see over here real quick what we did. We put a post there, 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 and there. Okay. And so we'll do post here, a post here, a post here. I guess these aren't really posts, they're just blocks sticking out. We'll put a block here, a block here, block here, one here, and one there too. There we go. 
So that is how you do that part of the build. And we, won't, we will only fill in the fence on the bottom layer of the build just because the top layer has windows in it. And if we did that, it just doesn't create the best texture looking thing. So let's get our slabs and the slabs are gonna line up on the bottom center. You're just gonna pretty much fill in all of this right here with uh, dark oak slabs. And I don't think we fill it on this side. Let me go ahead and get my reference real quick. Oh no, we do. So we'll put, fill this in with slabs right here. Fill this in with slabs and you just basically want to connect, just not the corners of the house. You don't want to go around like that because that does not look good. We don't actually put the fence on the corners of the house. But yeah, you just start filling all this in. Let me do that real quick. And then we'll do the same thing with the fence. Uh, the fence will go on every single, like it won't go on the corner right here, but it will go underneath every single part where the uh, um, dark oak slab is, including underneath this part of the build right here. So we will go ahead and go around all of that and fill all of that in around the entire build, which I'll let you guys do. I'll do that in my spare time, but I'll let you guys go ahead and wrap around. For the top part right here, we actually do wanna add some fence post in this part of the build as well. So we're gonna go one, two, three, post right here. One, two, three, like that. And then one here, one here, one here, one here. And we'll do that on both sides. And I did that very, very, very quickly. So I'll go ahead and do a little bit slower. So one, two, three, then one underneath this blog, one underneath that one, and that one right there. So that's what that should be turning out like. And now for the windows, I told you I would do the texture for the windows, which the windows are very, 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 very simple. So we're actually gonna get more oak, uh, dark oak trap doors and we're gonna want slabs and we're gonna want stairs as well. The way we do the windows, and it's again, very simple, like I just reiterated 10 times, you put two dark oak wood stairs there and you put two dark oak slabs above this one, slabs, not stairs. And then on the inside, we'll put two dark oak trap doors right here. We'll put a trap door here and a trap door right there and surround it like that. And we'll go ahead and do that on both sides. And the way I'm, I'm doing this, I'm holding shift while putting on top of the trap door because otherwise it's, it would just start clicking like that and it wouldn't work. But yeah, that's basically the window. And you do that except uh, you do the same thing over here for these ones right here. So you'd put a slab, I'll do it a little bit slower this time, one slab. On top of that, you want a dark oak wood stair. Then we have an oak trap door. Make sure that oak trap door doesn't face like this too. It does create a little bit of a weird texture. I mean, it, it doesn't matter too much though. Then we'll put one trap door there, another one on top of that one, one trap door there, and another one on top of that one. And basically those are the window iterations for each thing. That's exactly how the windows are gonna look all around, which I'll let you do on your own. So remember to fill in the fence post and do the windows as well. And now we'll do the tower part, which the tower part I do not have memorized at all because I did this very strangely. As you can see, what I did is I put a stair here and then, cause there's no windows on either of these sides as well. I'll show you how to build that part in just a second. But we put a stair with the window and then we have one trap door underneath it right there with the fence on either side. So let's go over, overhead and build this right here. So it's one stair, a one by two window with fence post. Let me get some fence out real quick. Dark oak fence, there it is. Dark oak fence on either side with the trap door right below, just like that. And we'll do that on this side as well because there's a window over here too. So again, trap door instead of the slab, a dark oak stair to fence post. And that is that window, I believe complete. And then the inside is a little bit strange too. Um, the reason I did this, I'll explain later on the video when I start doing the interior. But we're gonna put a stair here and then we'll have these two broken right here. These are gonna be trap doors. And, but you don't want the trap doors to place like that. So go inside the building and put the trap doors facing like this. And you can do that on either side real quick too. That way we keep it consistent. And then we have a stair right here with fence going across like that. So three fence over the top. And I'm sorry, I know I'm doing this a little bit quick too, but as usual, I'm always pushed on time. And so if you guys need to see that again, just go ahead and rewind it real quick. And the reason, I can tell you actually the reason real quick um, that I did this trap doors is eventually we'll have a, a little spiral staircase coming up here. And I did this because it was just something cool. Like if someone were to ever say break into your house, you can actually use this as an escape. If you get up into this corner, let me put a block right here so I can walk on real quick. If we get into this corner, we can use that trap door and we can actually escape out of the roof. And the way that this uh, house is built, when you walk in here, you kind of walk into a little bit of a divot, a basement, and then it just keeps going up. So there's only one entrance and it all, uh, leads all the way to the top. But say you want to get out of the house quick or say someone was about to grief your house and attack you or something like that. You can actually just go ahead and use this as a cool little secret getaway right there. And that's why I did that. But that should be the windows done for that. If you want to fill in the windows too, real quick, uh, I did use white stained glass and I used uh, glass blocks, I believe not glass panes because the glass panes just didn't look good. And for that, that's super simple. You just fill in each window. But again, so you're only going to get the windows done with the slabs, the stairs, the trapdoors. You want to get those done. The fence underneath, the slabs connecting each of the dark oak wood wood, 
uh, post, and then we also do have post up here too, or, or no, we do not actually have post up there. But yeah, and that's the tower done as well. So the next thing we'll do is I think we will actually start to work on the interior, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna do yet, but that is the next part of the video, I believe. Before I forget, uh, I do wanna say that I, there are actually posts right here. Um, I totally forgot about the one building and it just slipped my mind, but you wanna get a uh, dark oak wood uh, little things jutting out, I guess, I, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, you just want that on every single side, like so real quick. That makes the build have just a little bit more character, a little bit more volume, it looks really, really nice like that. All right, so now I made an attempt at building the inside and I'll show you exactly how I place the floors and what levels of the floors I place them on. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my alternate world where I did all the decorations. Um, I'm, I'm also gonna show you guys how to texture the build too, uh, how to make it the build just look a little bit spot, splotchy, a little bit broken down and stuff to, to add some more character to it. To it. But when I move over to the other video, I'll show you how to do all the decorations on the inside and everything like that. I will show you how to do the floors though, and if you wanna do the interior, however you wanna do it, that is totally up to you. As always, I'll show the interior because that's something I do like to do in my videos, but you can make up whatever interior you want. This is just what worked best for me. All right, so for the first floor, and you can see I kind of layered it right here just to show you how to build each layer. Uh, for the first floor, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna have stone bricks going around at this layer right here all the way across the entire build. So just like this, and we'll put some blocks actually right here as well to cover that up. Actually, you know, we'll get, we'll get stone bricks because that will make it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, so we'll do that and we'll have spruce slabs as the floor because I feel like we've already used so much dark oak wood that the, the spruce slabs lighten things up a little bit and make it look a little bit nice. But as you can tell, this would not be a fun little basement area to have because you'd get your head stuck and that would just be a complete pin, but we can put some slabs right here too. So what I did actually is I went down one block into the floor, into the ground, which I typically don't do with my builds, but for this case, it turned out to make the basement look really nice. So what you wanna go ahead and do, and I'll just do this with the fill command. You'll have to tunnel this out if you're actually in, um, if you're actually in survival, I'll tunnel this out real quick though, just for the sake of the video. Uh, Dang, uh, let me figure out how to get up here real quick. I probably have to shift, don't I? I have to shift down. Maybe it would have been quicker to uh, actually clear it out by hand, I don't know. All right, there, okay. So I filled that all out. And right here, you're gonna get, kinda go down. You're gonna have the stone brick blocks right here. We're gonna have two blocks. That way it doesn't feel like you're immediately going into the staircase from the doorway. And we'll put some spruce uh, slab blocks right here. Then we'll go down one like this. Uh, I think it just goes down one like that, and then actually goes into the floor, which will be made of stone brick blocks and stone, uh, or, or spruce uh, planks right there. Let me go ahead and get some actual spruce planks out, so that way this part of the build gets a little bit easier. And then we'll fill in this part right here, with stone bricks and stone. And the reason um, I have stone, a kind of stone wall, this is kind of the texture I use for the wall making right here. And we can actually put some uh, stone bricks right here too as well. The reason I did that though was because the exterior, this is the stairs right here, the stairs texture of the foundation. And we don't want to change that up. We don't want to make that look all disgusting and everything. So I kept it stone block just as the walls and I had stone brick little panels on either corner kind of come in. Oh no, no, actually I didn't do that either. Sorry. Don't, don't listen to me sometimes. <laughs> You see how we have the stairs outside kind of like this as the texture? So we can't really replace all that. We want to keep it stone. So what I did, and now the interior is coming back to me now, is I just put stone brick blocks because these will be covered by the ground in the exterior on the outside. So just like that. So this is how the basement's going to look. You're going to have stone brick blocks going all around right here. And then you're going to have the rest filled in. This is The walls are all going to be stone. You'll have stone brick exterior going around the whole thing. And then you'll fill it all in with spruce blocks as well. So that's how you do the first part. This next part, uh, you'll fill in all this, obviously, with uh, stone brick stairs. The way I did um, getting up to each level is I did a staircase on each one, which I'll show that in the interior design. If, um, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and build it right here real quick. So for this design right here, I put stairs here, stairs here, and I just kind of make a little entrance going up, it's just like a little staircase going up, just like this. This is how I did, uh, I, I did a staircase on either side. For the next part, I would do a staircase right here going up. Then I would do a staircase going up here, and then a spiral staircase going ultimately up to the tower. And I'll show that all in the last part of the interior video. For now, I'm just showing what I would do for each floor layout. And then I also filled this in with stone brick blocks right here. You might want to get the floor done first because that's a little bit easier. But yeah, so that's how I did the staircases and the floors. This is the first floor. The next floor, I did a little bit differently. I got stone bricks and I put them one block below this uh, dark oak plank right here. And then I just went the stairs with the stairs all the way around the entire build. 
just like that. And then I filled all of that in with spruce planks. And I don't know why I varied the floor each time. That was just something that ended up happening, but that's what I did. So <laughs> I guess you guys can do whatever you want. I mean, this is the interior. I'm just showing what I did for the floors for each floor level. And then for the top one, I'll just show the top one real quick. And then I'll go ahead and move on to the interior section of the video showing what I did with the interior and everything. For this part, I just used actual blocks. And for this part, I did cover the shadow. I wanted to cover the shadow each time so that you couldn't see that block. And so you got a consistent wall color, wall texture. Because if you had it like say one block up, you could see this. Um, light gray terracotta and that doesn't look good on the inside so i just used solid blocks right here and i had this go all the way around as well like this and i filled it all in <clears throat> with a spruce planks as well just like that and so that's how i did each of the four floors or three yeah no four floors one two three there's another floor right here and then there's actually a tower floor here but that is how I did all the levels down. Again, you can see right here, I got a slab layer right here. This is the basement with uh, stone walls and a stone brick floor. So, and the middle was uh, filled with spruce planks. Then I went up, I had this floor, these walls were already pre-built. For, but for the next layer, I used stone brick stairs going around and I filled that all in with spruce slabs. And the next one, I had it level with the um, shaded concrete right here, or shaded uh, terracotta. And I had stone bricks going all the way around in a big rectangle and I had the wood right here and for each staircase. So I had a staircase over here on the left side and then I'd, I'd build a staircase over here on this side, which would go up. And then right here, I actually didn't have any staircase on this side right here because right here I built kind of, uh, I, what did I do? I built a spiral staircase going up smack in the center of the tower right here, which I will show you how to build in the um, interior design when I started building that, but it was just basically a staircase that went around something like something like this. This is how the staircase kind of looked when I started going up and around. But with all that said and done, I will actually go ahead and move on and show you guys how I ended up doing the interior design, which I can actually uh, just jump over there and show you guys. But yeah, I will show you the interior design on what I did and little key features that I added. I did do a lot to the interior design and I don't exactly remember everything I did, but I'll try to cover most of it in the next part of the video. All right, so for the last part of the video, um, as usual, I hopped over to my one building tutorials world where I keep all my builds. You can see it is actually starting to stack up and it's kind of looking cool. You got the little graveyard over there and modern house. Um, I continue, I, I, I go on tangents sometimes. Okay, let's jump into it though. We're gonna show all the details on the inside, what I did for each floor to make it look super nice. And I think the interior turned out excellent. I'm typically not the best interior uh, designer, exterior I'm really, really good at um, sometimes. Sometimes it can be terrible too. But anyways, let's jump into it because I keep going off on tangents and we need to stop that. So first I placed uh, dark oak wood stairs, which is really obvious. Right down here, you can see that I kind of filled in the ceiling part and you will want torches up here if you do fill this in just because I totally forgot about that. But if you're mob proofing this and if you're doing it in survival, speaking of which, when I always I always talk about mob proofing because if you ever build this in survival, you do want it to be mob proofed. And right here, there are easy blocks that you can definitely walk on. Another thing I forgot to do is uh, the texturing, which I'll show you what I did for the texturing after this. But um, for mob proofing, it would be as simple as getting string or maybe if you want to use carpet. Carpet would look terrible on this in my opinion. But for most of this, we got stairs, which mobs can't spawn on. And we got slabs and stuff like that. Slabs right there. But for all the blocks that didn't have stairs I don't have any of this light proof and you just want to put a bunch of string on top that way you can get it mob proofed same with up here because that would not be fun if say you were using this escape route right here and all of a sudden there was a creeper on top of your roof and he blew you up that would everyone hates creepers I, I feel bad for them but it's true everyone hates creepers <clears throat> for the textures real quick what I'll do is I'll show you what I did for all the textures for some of the textures I used cracked stone bricks and I replaced some of the stone bricks with those and then I would also use stone brick stairs and place them upside down or just like as you can see I put some stone uh, cracked stone bricks here and that really depends on you how much you want yours to look like it's falling apart I did a few just to so that we wouldn't have this non-stop texture of just stone bricks you see we got a little bit of cracks and everything it just adds a little bit of depth to it we got some stone brick stairs right here 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 and just adding texture to it makes it look nice it makes it look a little bit different so that's really all i did for the texturing that's what i was gonna do in the next segment of the video on but i realized that there really wasn't enough uh for texturing to do a segment of a video i when, when i build these videos i build them in segments and, and that's one of the things i do but yeah you can see i just put cracked stone bricks every once in a while and i made that up a little bit if you really want your thing to look old too you can actually add mossy stone brick stairs and mossy stone bricks too just because that makes it look really really old and really rotten and you could have, even have leaves going up the side, but yeah. So for the interior though, 
We have this little walkway right here, which uh, is spruce planks and floor. It goes down one level right here. And then we got the walls consisting of stone bricks. And I, I said that in the last segment of the video. So right here, I made this where uh, I would keep all my storage if I were to build this in survival. I also put these banners, these reoccurring banners right here, red banner and light gray banner, because I felt like this would be um, just kind of what the, uh, I, I don't know, the man who lived here, this is his color scheme. This is what he likes, I guess. <laughs> But what I did is I put pair of barrels lining up in rolls right here so you can put your stuff in here if you ever wanted to, which I just realized my stuff is, let me empty that out. Okay, but yeah, so I just put a bunch of barrels lining up in rolls and then, and then I also made this kind of a blacksmithing because this kind of looks like a medieval build. So I made a blacksmithing place right here, which how I did that is I got stone brick slabs and starting, you know, right here we go one, two over. We put a stone brick slab here, here, and then I went over one. So it goes one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And then I filled this in with gravel and insight and stone and stuff like that just to make it look kind of rough. Over here, I put smooth stone slabs down on the side, which I don't know why I got that. I put smooth stone and slabs on either corner. And then I put stairs lining up on each thing. And I put an iron um, bar right there. I don't know if that looked, I kind of wanted to make it look like it was a smelting station or something like that. I put a campfire in here. Do not put an actual fire in here. That's what I did originally. And I caught the entire house on fire and that was a pain in the butt. That was, um, that was not a smart move on my part, <laughs> but we put some crafting tables, some uh, smithing tables. It looked like you got some tools to work with. We got some blast furnaces and stuff like that. Grindstones every once in a while. And we got saw, but saw no, is that what it's called? Stone cutter, stone cutter right there. We got some item things filled of the tools that um, you've been blacksmithing, some uh, anvils, crack anvils, a smoker and everything like that. And this is where we would keep all our stuff. We could have extra stores too in other places. There's a lot of some places around the house that you could put them. But that's basically how I did this. And behind, um, the barrels, I kind of filled this up with spruce planks right here and then put stone brick slabs on top. And then on either side, I put trap doors to make it kind of look like it's, it's meant to be here. Like the barrels are meant to be um, stationed in rows right here. Kind of, kind of like that. For the staircase, I also did texture the staircase a little. I put some stone brick slabs and stuff to make the staircase look like it was broken down a little bit. But let's go ahead and move on to the second story. So on the second story, I put a painting here. I did put a sleeping corridor over here and I kind of put this brown carpet over here to make it kind of look like a bear skin. When I was looking up examples on medieval houses, uh, Skyrim just came to mind because Skyrim is a phenomenal game. Um, if you guys haven't played it, you definitely should. But yeah, I kind of went for the Skyrim texture and they had a lot of bear rugs and bear animal skins and stuff on the floor. So I put some scattered brown carpet. I put two of my favorite purple beds right here with um, dark oak trap doors to make them kind of look like they're separated not connected to the beds there. They have these like little corridors on this one. Put some paintings here and some spells or uh, some potions on the wall in case you were maybe a magic person in Skyrim. I don't know. Uh, I put a crafting table over here. This is the staircase I was talking about the, uh, earlier in the other part of the video that you can walk up and go on to the next story. But first I'll show you the details I did. So I did put some chests over here where you can keep your immediate stuff and crafting table as always because crafting tables, I usually keep them almost everywhere in all my build and builds because um, I'm always needing a crafting table to build something. To separate, I didn't actually use wall separators, I didn't use doors and stuff because that's not how they did it in the medieval times, according to Skyrim at least. So I kind of put this stone brick block here, I put one block here, and then I had a wall going across with a stone brick block right here, so it kind of makes it, it makes it feel separated, and you can definitely tell that they're two different rooms. This is definitely a bedroom, and then this is definitely a kitchen, but they're kind of connected. You can definitely see right into uh, one another room. And that's how, how kind of the builds went in Skyrim. Over here, I had a shelf which you could put some food on, some pantry and stuff. If you were getting ready to set up for dinner, I got some uh, mugs and some coffee cups and stuff like that, which I just used pots for. On top of some trap doors to make it look like there are drinks just waiting. I put a little table here with an insight uh, stairs surrounding uh, diorites, polished diorite blocks, and I put a cake on top. Here's this uh, reoccurring red pattern and uh, light gray texture that I was talking about again. This is just a guy's color, so that's what he would have. And real quick, I totally forgot, but I'm gonna show you how I place the torches just so that you can mob proof your house effectively and have the lighting levels perfect. So I put a torch right here on this stone brick block. I put two torches on either side, which those are very crucial for the lighting. I put a torch here, 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 and one right there above the grindstone. Uh, the campfire does a lot of lighting right here, so you don't have to worry about that as much. I put this torch, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five blocks to the right of that area right there. I put the torch right there. For the second story, I put a torch one block over here, so a torch right there, and I lined that one up, or I kind of lined it, uh, I kind of missed, it was kind of a miss or hit. Um, I put two blocks over, I put a torch right here, and I did put this railing too so that you don't feel like you're gonna just walk off the stairs and fall down, that would really stink. Uh, I put a torch on the right side of this dark oak pl uh, plank right here, 
or dark oak wood, and I put a torch on this dark oak wood right here, then I put a torch over here, and this is one, two, three blocks over, and there's a torch. I put a torch one block over. The torches were kind of scattered randomly, and that's because the way the interior was built in Skyrim, it was kind of random. It was it was kind of placed all over the place, just they had their stuff everywhere, and that's, I guess, maybe how they lived in medieval days? I don't know. I've, I've always been more of an organized person myself. My bedroom's always kept very nicely and clean, so I don't know, but that's how they work. So now we'll go ahead and build on the, uh, we'll go up the staircase and you can see I did add some textures here too by adding stairs and little divots into the actual stairs itself. But up here, I thought it would be cool to have kind of armor stations. So you can see we got some armor stands placed around with some heads. We got a dragon head, a dra uh, zombie head. We got the dragon egg itself with uh, these fletching tables right here because they have bow and arrows on them and stuff. I put up a station of a bunch of different types of arrows with the bow and the crossbow right here. Got some armor stands, a diamond one, one with uh, dyed leather black uh, dyed leather black armor that, that sounds right i put some more of the brown scattered carpets up here and then i put some weapons right here maybe a battle axe and some swords and stuff like that and then these things right here uh there are grindstones stacked up to certain heights with iron bars on top and they kind of reminded me i don't know what these things are called but they're in um in kung fu movies and stuff like that when the when the warriors are like punching them or whatever they're like hitting them with their hand and stuff like that and I don't know what they're called. They're, they, they like spin around. They're, they kind of look like totem poles. Totem poles, is that what I think? Yeah, that's kind of what they look like. And over here, I got some more banners, the red and light gray banner. Uh, should be able to keep it up. For the torches, I went ahead and I put one block over, I put a torch here. One block over, I put a torch here. All these torches were lined up for the most part, I think, and I just fell down. Um, I put a torch right here and here, which that is one, two, three blocks away from this dark oak uh, post right here. Then for this torch, I put it on the left side of the dark oak wood post, and this one right here is on the left side of this dark oak wood post over here on this side. And that is crucial for the lighting. That is, um, this makes it spawn proof, and the carpets also make uh, it spawn proof as well, so you don't get any of those nasty creepers or zombies spawning up on you when you're trying to chill out in your cool looking medieval house. For the um, spiral staircase, I got dark oak wood, and I just started stacking up the staircase. And right here, you can see this is actually the inside of the roof part. And I, I can't remember exactly what I did. You can kind of mock the pattern. You, you guys can do whatever you want, what you want up here. But this is where I kept my enchantment table. And I put some lecterns with books and stuff in that and torches. And the torches, again, are crucial for the torch placement. Um, have a torch right here and here. But I completely redid this interior. I don't even remember how I placed the blocks or anything. So that's completely up to you guys. If you guys want an example on what you can do with it, you can make it into a storage center. You can make it into a library like I did. Maybe you could even put a nether portal up here. It's completely up to you, this part of the interior build. But yeah, I did do that. And I cleaned up these walls a little bit, you know, before you could kind of see onto the other side where all the white terracotta was and stuff. And I kind of cleaned that up, made it look a little bit nicer. But then the spiral staircase keeps going up with stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs. And at the very top is the tower, which in the tower, I didn't put anything actually at all. It was just a little platform. And we got these escape platforms I was talking about earlier, how you can jump up here and escape through the top if you ever need to, if you're about to get creeped. But that should be about the interior of the entire build. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was one of my best builds I think I've ever done before. I, um, I'm really, really, really proud of how this turned out and everything. And if you guys did like it, go ahead and comment below if you want more build tutorials. I think I'm gonna keep building them regardless because I enjoy them. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what type of houses you want or what kind of uh, maybe themed builds, kind of like how I did the, uh, for Halloween, I did the graveyard. Comment below what you guys want and I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. Enjoy building in Minecraft. Have fun, guys. I just realized I say uh, have a good weekend and I also say to enjoy a lot. I'm not really sure why I do that, but um, if you see that in the future videos, just I don't know, comment below and laugh at that, I guess. I, it's just something funny I saw. But yeah, you guys have a good rest of the weekend and enjoy. <laughs>